Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, I want to talk about some caffeine withdrawal symptoms, alright? And if you've drank a lot of caffeine in your life, if you're a heavy, you know, coffee drinker, you know, if you're drinking these crazy energy drinks, if you're just drinking sodas all day and you quit, you're going to have withdrawals, just like whenever you quit any addiction, okay, whether that be drug or alcohol. Now, they might not be as crazy or life-threatening as those, but th these are still a pain in the butt, okay? Um, I went through this whenever I quit drinking caffeine a long time ago. I still drink Cokes every once in a while, but by no means am I the kind of Coke drinker that I used to be at all. I drink coffee once every, like, three days, and I drink maybe a Coke every one to two days. So nothing like I used to do. But I experienced some of these whenever I stopped doing it. Okay, number one, headache. That's one of the biggest complaints whenever you quit caffeine, headache. And it's usually right here in front, behind the eyes and up here on the front of your head, okay? That's just where the headaches usually happen. Sleepiness. And it's not just, you know, just regular being tired. It's going to be hard for you to stay awake. I mean, your body used to have that kick start, okay? The caffeine kind of got you going, got you energized. And without that, your body don't even know what to do no more, especially if you're drinking tons of coffee and now you're not doing anything, okay? So that's just something that's going to come with it, all right? Irritability, just like when you quit anything, you're going to be agitated, you're going to get upset, you're going to be mad, okay? Um, just things that didn't usually get at you are going to get at you, okay? That's just going to happen. You're going to just be like ready to snap, okay? Your stress and anxiety is going to be up, okay? If you have a stress problem or anxiety problem in general, whenever you quit something, that's going to go up. Panic disorder... Uh, mood disorder, behavioral problems, any of that kind of stuff is going to kind of go up whenever you have to deal with, you know, quitting an, an addiction. All right? Lethargy. Okay? You're not going to really be productive. Uh, you're going to be unmotivated, okay? That's just going to happen for a little while. You'll get over that. Whenever you quit something, you're giving something up that you've been doing for a long time, that's going to happen. Also, you can deal with depression, okay? Okay? Uh, your caffeine might have been like your best friend. Hmm, hey, what's up, caffeine? I'm drinking and we're having a good time. And, you know, now you basically killed that, you know, that relationship. Whenever you're not doing it anymore, uh, that's like somebody passing away almost to you, especially if you were close with caffeine, you know, for so long. I know I'm getting weird with it, but, you know, that happens. Constipation. Nobody wants that. But constipation is another withdrawal symptom uh, of caffeine, Okay. It stimulates your bowels whenever you drink caffeine, so it gets you going, okay? Especially if you drink coffee, if you know what I mean, okay? So when you stop doing that, it messes up with the situation. You will get over that, okay? That'll pass. Muscle pain and stiffness, okay? Uh, that's just going to be something that goes along with that, especially if you used to drink caffeine before your exercises, okay? Lack of concentration, all right? You're used to, you know, you're used to having that stimulation, all right? So you're not having that, so you're, you're finding yourself not being able to concentrate as much as you used to. You might have drank coffee before you know, school or class or whatever. <clears throat> Flu-like symptoms. Um, that seems to be a little serious, but you know, some people have reported having flu-like symptoms. Okay, And insomnia. It's going to be hard for you to go to sleep. All right, Just like with most addictions, when you quit that, uh, it messes with your sleeping. It just does. Good news is that that most of the, if you're just like a moderate caffeine drinker, this will last a few days to a week. If you're a very religious caffeine drinker, it could last up to a month. But here's the good news, that the most severe part of that will last about a week for everybody, okay? After that, it's smaller symptoms. You know, you might still be a little agitated. Your stress level might be a little high, okay? Um, you might have problems concentrating, concentrating. But you will get over that, okay? Just letting you know. So you can quit. Quitting caffeine is a very good thing. You need to drink more water, stay more hydrated. Did you know that 80 to 90 percent of you know the all of America is dehydrated right now? Okay, chronically dehydrated. So, quitting caffeine is the first step to that. Start drinking more juices, drink more water, help you out. Okay, if you want to do something to help yourself out, exercise more. Okay, stay busy, do stuff. All right, make sure you're getting to bed on time. You know, different things like that making your diet better, okay? That'll help out. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some good information. Like it, comment down below, and let me know what you're going through if you want any personal advice on this or if you have some symptoms that I didn't mention or if you just want to tell your caffeine story. We'd all love to hear it. 
Also, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of good videos on how to beat other addictions like alcohol and tobacco, okay, and drugs. All right, so go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye.